Um, well, starting again is just like it's, it's just like a blank piece of paper or, or an InDesign document with no structure, you know, just a sort of you know white screen. Um, I think it's useful because I think you kind of learn a lot from kind of when you just go back to the beginning again. I mean, the, you know, the, you know, the, it, it, I, th I just think it's kind of quite, again quite a useful way of um, sort of pushing yourself a little bit forward. You know, we're sort of looking for kind of ways to kind of keep ourselves interested in the project, you know, and, and, to, and to keep kind of moving forward and. Um, you know those kind of special issues and things are, are kind of you know they're just you know they're, they're useful they're useful to kind of to start you know just to, as I said just to start from having a kind of pl blank piece of paper and just well how do we do this how do how do we make this different and interesting and then that has a, informs what we do after that in the magazine kind of generally so we, we, we I've, I've kind of definitely we have these kind of special issues that run throughout the year and each one um, tends to sort of yeah you know, well, well is, is really designed. To, to inform what we do afterwards, you know, in, in a way, and just to learn from some, you know, to bring some of those things where we just kind of start again into the sort of, mag and sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just sort of, you know, you know, sometimes it, they just sort of exist as these sort of standalone sort of moments, but kind of, you know, but I think generally the, sort of the practice of doing it is useful for everyone. We did this end of year issue. Um, it was the first, so I guess that must have been like 2010 or something. Um, and that was just all charts. And all, you know, we just did a magazine full of charts and full of pictures. And there's really no words of, you know, more than about sort of 200 words. And that was very, you know, that, that really pushed us. And, you know, it was really hard. And, and that, that kind of gave us a sort of a way of kind of thinking about the future, you know. And, and it, you know, so that we did a Steve Jobs issue, which was, um, which is a different thing, really, because like that, you know, the charts one took a long time. But Steve Jobs really, we had a, a, like a night to do it. We certainly knew he was dying, obviously, and so we kind of we, we prepared a lot of things in, in advance. But then, when he actually died, he died on the day that we um, that we send the magazine. So we, we'd literally sent half the magazine, and then he died, and so we had and like Josh um, just cut, killed the magazine that we had. And then we went back, to, and then we just picked up this half finished magazine and just kind of completed it overnight. And that that really was a good experience. It was actually a terrible experience, but kind of like you know, it was kind of, but it was kind of useful, you know, because like you just it was you know it's, you know it was very kind of instinctive sort of design, you know, it's, it, you just had to make a decision, and it had to, then it just had to go, and um, but yeah, that was and that was kind of that was good, that was, you know, and then that was I mean a lot of the reasons that I kind of enjoyed that so much was that um, we had this photo essay at the start of the magazine, and. You know, the idea was to have lots of pictures. Well, have a few pictures at the start, and then to have a lot of words. But because we, there was no time to write any words, the sort of you know the, the words bit got shrank, and then the picture bit grew at the beginning. And you know, it was through not by through more fault than design. You know, and but then it, it that just it, it, that made it, it a lot you know better really because we just had all these kind of weird pictures at the front, which no one you know which, you know you don't really get in magazines. There's no adverts. Um, so yeah, so that that was a good experience. I don't know. I mean, they've all been kind of quite quite good and interesting. And many, you know, I really like the kind of we did this interview issue recently where we kind of used dynamo tape all the way through it. And you know, that was again came come out of the idea that I gave Tracy, who's my system, this you know dynamo tape, and which is like every design is really corny, it's a really kind of cheesy idea. But I just I tried to like basically sort of put a gun to her head and said, just make this look cool. And um, and she you know that was she did she didn't really like me very much for a while, but eventually we kind of got to somewhere which was kind of interesting where she just started writing with it and photographing it in a kind of in, in, in a kind of interesting. So you know so I think the, they they become a little bit kind of these kind of intellectual exercises and in how to kind of like push yourself forward a bit.